Hey, good morning. Oh, yeah, that was way too excited and too upbeat considering I didn't get to watch this last night. Um, I had to watch it this morning. And yay, CW, for doing it right and not being a paid service and just doing commercials instead. You know, I mean, at least they offer it free online. I mean, bless their hearts. I mean, they're being smart because it is getting kind of dumb. You know, all these different networks and channels all doing, oh, but, you know, pay four ninety nine or nine ninety nine, and yeah, we're, that's why a lot of people got rid of cable. Is we had you know what, four hundred channels, but we only watched like ten. It just, I mean, who wants to pay that much money for that many channels? <sighs> Mind you, I pay for Amazon Prime, and I pay for... What else do I pay for? Because <coughs> my son pays for Hulu and Disney+. Plus. My daughter does Netflix. We also do Shudder, but I'm not sure who pays for that. So it's kind of combined effort. Everybody's paying for something. Damn, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, so... Superman and Lois this week. Um, hilarious beginning. I, I was looking at that bridge at the beginning going, where in America do we have a bridge that big? Is You know, you see the big yellow school bus and it didn't even register that it had Chinese writing on it until, you know, it started to fall apart and I was like, oh, they're in China. Oh. Okay. And then I was going like, Wait a minute, so how did he know? It was halfway across the world. They don't have a, an alarm thingy like what Lois and the boys have and what uh, General Lane has. How to, hey, confused. And of course, that's answered later in the episode. So it was like, ah, oh, all right. Um, but I love the fact that he catches the bridge and he sees the guy that was underneath in the boat, and he just kind of does the whole one-handed, hey, hi, wave. <laughs> and it's like, oh, I should probably put the other hand back. It's just, I like that aspect that he he, he isn't just doing stuff in America. He, he's running off around the world and rescuing people from around the world. I, I like that they're doing that in this show. I really do. Um, because... I, you know, you don't see enough of that in in anything. I mean, I think you saw a little bit of it in the movie. Uh, I don't even know which one it was. Was it Bats vs. Soup? I don't know. Where you see him. I don't even think he rescued anybody anywhere else in the world. I don't know if they've ever really shown that in any movie. Not off the top of my head. Not this early in the morning. Not after having taken my migraine medication, because that's why I didn't watch it last night, so I had a migraine. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to mentally get my brain wrapped around actually watching the episode last night. Uh, but it, it was a good episode. I mean, I, I am really beginning to swear that this show um, is far better than the movies. Uh, like... I guess Superman kind of really belongs on TV because we have more time to get involved, we get more time to get invested. Where the movies, it's like bam, 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 you know. And I, I think like the movies should be shorter, quicker stories uh, rather than what we get in, you know, the TV show which is far more in depth, far more interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was, it was a good episode. I mean, we got a lot of hilarious. It's interesting because of the dynamic between the parents and the kids. So you got two separate stories going on there where with the adults doing this stuff, but then you get the CW typical teenage angsty drama crap, which... 30 years ago, I would have been like, woo, I'm kind of into it, kind of enjoying it, but I'm also enjoying the, this stuff that's going on with Lois and Clark. Um, the, 
Oh, wow, okay, so my video just, I just finally, okay, hold on, I'm trying to find this so I can stop it from running. I cannot believe this, <laughs> I was um, editing a video, that's funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm liking the pratfalls and everything that as a parent, cause I am a parent of, of seeing stuff, you know, the same mistakes parents do, you know, between Lana and her daughter and Clark and Lois dealing with their kids. And I gotta say they're great parents. Um, but they're also making the same mistakes that a lot of parents do. I mean, and we do. We we overstep occasionally. We we make mistakes, and then we learn from those mistakes not to do that stuff. Um, it, it, it's just for the kids out there. That's you, you do those things because we're we're learning at the same rate you guys are learning how to deal with your kids. Some parents take it to one extreme and become helicopter parents. Other parents just whatever, go do whatever you want, you know, and just let their kids run wild. I am, I was one of those parents that was more towards give your kids enough freedom so they can learn how to live on their own, but let them know that they need to do right. They don't, they can't do anything illegal or they're going to be repercussions, you know, don't, don't do anything stupid. Um, so it's it's interesting watching Superman being a parent and seeing that you know he's in the same boat trying to to figure out how to do stuff. Um, I am curious though if Jordan was about to exhibit. I mean, he, he's definitely exhibiting more strength, uh, uh, you know, for considering his build and that he is small, you know, they, they were cracking jokes about it when he showed up to um, practice because he decided to be on the football team to, you know, be like, hey, I am stronger. I, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more than human. So, you know what, I'm tired of getting picked on. And he then proceeds to, you know, basically steamroll through everybody and you know leave me the hell alone you know just stop bullying me because this is stupid like i i can push back and he he did uh and, and jonathan gets a little bit peeved which of course siblings yeah you know he was the football player he was the star for football Oh, now his brother is. Oh, and his brother has superpowers. I got nothing. And I swear I think Jonathan's going to come up with something. He's going to end up with some sort of something. I don't, I don't think it's going to be, you know, because I think they're supposed to be twins. I can't remember. So if they're twins, they're fraternal twins. So one, of, I mean, not just one. Both of them are going to have, they're both going to have something. But I mean, it was a good episode. Lois, of course doing what she does best, stirring up trouble, and <laughs> you would think these people, it would dawn on them, don't start shit with Lois, because Lois has like a, you, you know Lois and Superman, Superman is always close behind Lois, he cares about her, so, duh, don't mess with Lois, and we end up, she's working at the newspaper, and someone blows her car up thankfully she's not in it so now she's down a car but then later in the episode the lady who came in to say yeah you're on the you're on the right track there's something going on they um later in the episode she's supposed to meet up with this lady and she gets attacked by a super person human he's he like literally it's kind of it's kind of like that scene from um end game where Thanos goes to punch Captain Marvel and she's just like, yeah, so. <laughs> Clark, Superman, goes to punch this guy and he's just like, hmm? And they literally have a knockdown to fight, like two guys like beating the crap out of each other of equal strength. The only issue is, is well, yeah, the guy's got super strength. 
Clark's got more in his repertoire than super strength. And, and of course, soundly beats him. And it leaves us going, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, we've got this Luther guy from an alternate Earth. One of the Earth 6 whatever or 3 whatever or whatever. Um, now we actually have super beings? Okay, so now we got a guy with super strength. Okay, so we know we got Aquaman, we've got the Flash, we've got Supergirl, we've got the Arrow, but we haven't had anybody other than Supergirl that has the same super strength as Superman. Okay, now this guy does. Where the hell did he come from? Who is he? What's going on? He came. It was a, he, he's got to be in league with the Edge guy because he's trying to kill the woman that was helping Lois with the story of uncovering what Edge was doing. What the hell's going on? And then we have an ep you know further in the episode we have a moment where a lady shows up with eye beams. You know Clark, you know Superman's eye beam. So it's like there there's a deeper story going on with that Edge dude. And so. Yeah, they are doing this far better than the movies. Uh, it, it, it's definitely far more investing than the movies. Though I love Henry Cavill. I really do. I mean, he's a fantastic Superman. Um, but I am so enjoying the family dynamic of... of you know, Clark, Jordan, Jonathan, and Lois, and, you know, I'm kind of feeling sad for Lois, because Lois is the only one that doesn't have any powers. Because, um, you know, like I said, Jonathan's going to break out with some powers. He absolutely is. Um, I'm trying to think... I, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just like my brain is just like literally brain farting over the two people that exhibited Kryptonian powers. I'm just like going, wait, how? And they didn't even talk about it. He he says nothing about running into this guy that has, you know. And I'm just like, okay, you got it. What? And I haven't seen the scenes from next week, so. Yeah, I just, I don't understand. And it's, mm, you know. I am, you know, I just, I'm like, I'm liking this far better than I have. And I have watched generally the first season of all the, the CW superhero shows. The only one I didn't really watch was uh, two episodes of Gotham. And I was like, eh, nah, I'm not interested. But I did watch, I think, the first couple seasons of The Flash. I watched a couple seasons of Green Arrow. I watched the first season of Supergirl. Uh, Batwoman. I watched half of the first season, and I just sort of went, meh. Um, but this, this show, they nailed it. Uh, they, they're doing a great job. The simple fact that I started with this saying, yeah, I'm only going to do, you know, the occasional episode. And it's like every episode something happens, and I'm like, nope. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, great episode again. Really just nailing it. I mean, like, like the talk between Jordan and Clark about how Clark had wanted to play baseball. I mean, in the realization that, you know, he couldn't because of his powers and and I love the fact that he's like, no, you go ahead and play. He, he's doing what all parents tend to do is, you know, I wasn't able to do this, but I will help you do what I wasn't able to do. And he, he tells them, yeah, go play. I'm going to be coach, though. I'm going to be there to make sure you don't do anything stupid. And I, oh, that was so funny. When he comes in, he, he's like, oh, no, I'd like to be a coach. And they're like, well, we've already filled all the positions, blah, blah, blah. And he's, you can see Clark just going, 
oh crap, what am I gonna do? And then Lois pipes in with, he'll work for free. And it's like, oh, okay, you're hired. <laughs> like, he, like, this is Superman and he still can't. Nope, he's gonna rely on Lois. <laughs> it's great, I love it. So, yeah, I'm loving this. You know, and I have seen so many different versions of Lois and Clark, and they're nailing it. You know, I, I wasn't I wasn't sure if they was gonna be able to pull it off, but I'm liking it more and more. Just, yeah. So, anyway, on to next week. Let's see how that episode goes. Yeah. And then uh, tonight we got Resident Alien. We got no more WandaVision. WandaVision's done. Um, though we got uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon coming up in like two weeks. So I, I should nail out a couple of videos in between there and then. Something other than me talking about shows. Maybe a rambling video or two or something just talking about life in general. What's going on in the world right now. Uh, I know I got a Let's Build coming up. That's what I was just editing. Uh, it's a Viking longhouse. But, yeah. Another great video. Another great video. Another great show. I'm going to go see what the scenes are for next week. And we will go from there. Uh, it was weird not seeing Luther in it. Um, couple, I think it was like two Superman moments, and that was it. So yeah, it's much more I like this. I'm I'm digging this far more than, sadly, the movies. Well, anyway, if you give a crap, <laughs> like the video, comment. Let me know what you're thinking of small uh, Smallville. <laughs> Oh God, let me think what you let me know what you think of Superman and Lois. Uh, it, it has it caught you by surprise? Uh, and hey, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week at the same. I was about to say bat time and bat channel, but <laughs> it's Superman. Oh, you can definitely tell I grew up in the seventies. Oh, the Adam West Batman. That's what I grew up with. And the, the George Reeves Superman, so. Wow. I'm old. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. See you next time.